Hey guys, it's Jack with Rethink Tech, back with a 3D printing video. So throughout this playlist, I've been talking about how to upgrade a 3D printer and use it properly. But I haven't showed you why you should consider buying one, what they are, and why they are the future. So this is my guide to 3D printers. There are many types, but I'll be talking about the FDM printer, or Fuel Deposition Modeling. By definition, it is a process of making three-dimensional solid objects from, from a digital file. The creation of a 3D printed object is achieved using additive processes. In an additive process, an object is created by laying down successive layers of a material that the entire object is created. Basically, it is a machine that moves with three axes to move in all directions. The extruder melts a plastic filament and pushes it through a small nozzle onto the bed. The object comes from a file that the user creates on a computer and the slicer software cuts up the object into thin layers. The file is saved onto an SD card or plugged directly into the printer. Most 3D printers use a .gcode file, which is a bunch of ones and zeros that tell the printer exactly which motors to move and how fast. These printers seem complicated and hard to use, but actually if you buy a reliable 3D printer, it is surprisingly easy. If you google 3D printers, hundreds will pop up between some really good, some really bad, some high price, some low, some pre-built, and some in kit form. So which one to choose? If you are new to 3D printing and want to start small, I would recommend either an XYZ DaVinci Jr. or a printer bought Simple Metal. If you want to pay less and be able to use different filaments, have a bigger heated bed, and an LCD screen, I would choose any RepRap Prusa i3. These come in kit form though, so you might want to consider if you can put it together before purchasing. But I do think that's the fun part, and you get to know how your 3D printer works, and how it's put together, so if something happens, you know what to do. There are many printers out there that print almost perfectly, like MakerBots and Ultimakers. Those price in at over $1,000. If you do invest in a 3D printer, there are unlimited uses that make it the future of printing. For example, if the knob of your cabinet breaks off, you can find a file online, click print, come back in an hour, and a brand new knob will be waiting for you on the bed. There are endless possibilities for a machine like this. Imagine what you could do with it. Also, if you work in a business where you are interested in creating models or products, it is so much easier and cheaper to 3D print your model in a couple of hours instead of spending weeks manufacturing your prototype. Finally, companies are even making printers that can create real body parts. This includes smaller things like parts of an ear, or even a nose. So I hope you learned something about 3D printing, and why you should consider purchasing one now. Please subscribe for more videos like this, like, and comment down below. We really appreciate your support. My name is Jack from Rethink Tech, and I'll see you guys in the next video.